the real point here is if you can save helicopter hours, um, that that's a really strong efficiency measure because helicopter hours are quite expensive. So firstly, there's a financial saving, but but more importantly, in the context of the Kara Strike Group, it means you can use those hours uh, for something that only the helicopters can do. And so you can take this perhaps slightly more routine load lifting between ships uh, away from them so that they can concentrate on um, other more important tasks. What 700 X-Ray are, are really working out is how you integrate these sorts of capabilities effectively into this kind of task force. Can you operate them, for example, at the same time as you're flying F-35s off the deck? What electronic systems do you need to turn off so that they can operate safely? Are they compatible in, in that sort of electromagnetic sense? How do you synchronize the operations? Um, how do you even and sort of land them on the on moving platforms? If, if you're sending it to land in a car park somewhere, you can give it a GPS waypoint, but the ships are moving. So, so there's a bit of a piloting that's required to get it onto the flight deck of a moving ship. You know, how, how does that work when, you, when you're doing it repeatedly out in the ocean and so on and so on? So all, all of that will be learned, uh, plus the maintenance and logistics and how it fits in a hangar along with another helicopter and an and. I would uh, presume that for the most part, these sort of operations would be conducted within line of sight. You know, you're taking you know a bag of mail or or you know a box of toilet rolls or this sort of thing from um, from HMS Prince of Wales, say. Uh, over to HMS Richmond, which might be a couple of miles away, and it, it, it and it's that sort of lift. And um, and when you're doing that sort of operations, what you'll do is you'll you'll say, okay, well we're going to do some of this, um, we're going to do some of this transfer of stores today, so we're going to have a couple of hours where we're going to do that. And there'll be a manifest and a task list, and then they'll they'll bounce around all the different um, ships, swapping the batteries and transferring all the different bits of cargo. Uh, I would anticipate. So it, it'll be that sort of thing. Um, the weathers do vary. Um, I mean, they're going uh, across a lot of different parts of the ocean and they'll encounter a lot of different conditions. Uh, some of it will be hot and sunny and lovely. Uh, some mm. of it will be strong winds and, and heavy seas. And, and of course, whilst the, the, the Molloy T-150s are designated as all weather, there will be weather limitations. Landing on the back of frigates, say, a bit easier on the bigger flight decks. Um, but but landing on the back of frigates in heavy seas and high winds can be can be um, a pretty tight business. And I've um, been on a, been on frigates where it's been a little bit hairy, to be honest. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.